I keep it realer than real. Bitch, I look pretty simple, how they feel. I'm getting money, it is what it is. Hey y'all, welcome back to Chrissy's channel. Um, I'm a little congested, um, so my voice or whatever might sound a little bit funny or whatever. Um, might sound a little stopped up, because I am a little stopped up. <laughs> but anyway, so, y'all, it's a lot going on. Um, I'm making this video pretty late. It's like 1 o'clock a.m. or whatever, but y'all. So, I don't know if y'all know, but Megan Thee Stallion, um, she was shot. Um, she never came out and said who shot her, but everybody automatically feels like it was Tory Lane, Lanez that shot her because she was with him that night. And after that night, it's like he got, well, he got locked up. She got shot or whatever, um, a couple times at her feet, I think, at both feet. And so everybody just heard that. And so she unfollowed him on Instagram. And so that's when, when she unfollowed him on Instagram, it's like people started like assuming stuff and you know all these rumors well not even rumors but just different you know people just had a lot to say or whatever and so that's when she just was like um she people she was getting mad at what people were saying about her like 50 cent had some uh, like a little joke or something to say and so that's when drea she had some things to say as well um, Joy and Michelle, um, and nobody liked what she had to say about that. And honestly, I didn't find that funny. Funny. Um, I don't think I really took it too serious, but I didn't. I wasn't like laughing at that because I just feel like when I think about it, she is making it look good to be in a domestic violence um, relationship. She's making that seem like, you know, it's like, what's the word? Trying to glamorize that or just trying to, you know, like she's supporting it. And I will show y'all what she said right here. Dre, that like y'all asking me, ask me like, we like I work with him. Because, no, we don't want you to give us any, look, I want you to hear us with every single time you say anything, put allegedly in front of it. Okay. I think... No, nope, already fucking up. Okay. No, no. <laughs> I'm protecting you. I predict. I'll take it. <laughs> I predict that they had some sort of Bobby and Whitney love that, you know, drove them down this snapped esque mm. type of road. And mm. I'm here for it. I like that. I want you to like me so much you shoot me in the foot too. Like But as long as <laughs> What the whoa? Wait, no, I, no, I, that's, I, 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 that is very Dre like. Drop man. a grenade. <laughs> What the, you want you what? I want you to like me so much that if I'm trying to get out the car and you're like, no, <laughs> sit your fucking ass she in repeats. the car. And she I'm like, repeats. no, nigga, I'm fucking getting out the car. No, you're not. He shoots you in the foot. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You gonna and, fuck and, that nigga. No, I'm not going in nowhere. In this moment, are you going? Drea just went viral, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, y'all see what she said. And to me, I really, you know, I really, now looking back at it, I feel like when I first watched that, I didn't really take it too serious, but now I do. You know, now I do feel like that was really, you know, what was her point in saying that for real? You know, I feel like she didn't think about it um, when she said that. She was not thinking about how crazy that sounds. Like, what you mean, you know, I want him to love me so much that he shoot me or whatever. It sounds so stupid. And also, it's like, it's people, it's women that really do battle with this, you know, like, every day. Now, you know, of course, it's, it's many, like, relationships that have, you know, that's toxic and have so many, like, issues. But to be abused, like, physically hit all the time, that's nothing to be, you know, that's that's not good. That's You know, that's really terrible. It's sad. And also, 
especially be shot by somebody. I just, I honestly really don't understand how the hell this happened. I swear, y'all, this, I don't know if it's just me, but this situation, nothing adds up. Nothing is adding up. Like, I just can't see how and why he would shoot her. I never even heard that they had no relationship. So, my thing is, you know, most people, most women that are in a domestic violence or whatever, they're in a relationship with that man that is abusing them. I've never heard of Tory Lanez in a relationship with her. I never heard of them being together, like Megan and Sawyer, Tory Lanez. I knew they were hanging out, but I never... We don't know if they were like in a like an actual couple or anything going on. But all I know is she, Megan Thee Stallion, she didn't straight out, you know, she didn't say to people he shot her, but she kind of making it, she kind of is letting it known that he did shoot her. Because right after Drea made those comments, she, you know, she was like this dumb B something, something. You know, like she was basically... She was angry, you know, mad about Drea making fun of that. You know, she was like, who does that? Who make fun? Who makes fun of that? Whatever. So anyway, I, you know, I understood. I understood why she was so upset. Some people was like, she really need to calm down, all that. And it's like, when I think about it, see, I'm the type that I like to, I put my, I put myself in other people's shoes. So, I'm very sympathetic. So, it's like, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I joke around sometimes and all that. But when it, like, seriously, it's like, when someone is hurt, you know, go through something, like, I can feel that pain. You see what I mean? Like, I, I've i never been shot. That's like a very big um, fear of mine, you know. I don't, I really don't like guns. I hate shooting, all that. And so to hear that a woman was shot, you know, I I can't imagine that happening to me. You know, especially like, I don't know. It's just weird. I just, you know, I can't imagine that happening to me. And I would never want that happen to any woman. So the fact that that happened to her, it really do hurt me, you know, or it kind of, it makes me, sad for her. You know, I feel bad for her, for real. Because she didn't deserve that, no matter what. I can't even justify that. Even if she was hollering, yelling at him, screaming at him, put her hand in his face, there's no reason why he should have shot her. Like, it's no excuse. No excuse at all. So, it's like, I feel bad for her. And honestly, it's like, I feel like a lot of people are very insensitive and they don't really put themselves in other people's shoes. So it's like, I feel like if they were in that situation or if their mom was in that situation or if their cousin or their sister, they wouldn't joke around like that. So I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like I didn't take it serious when I heard Drea saying that. But when I think about it, you know, that's terrible. It's terrible, you know, for a woman to be shot, beat up, anything. So, anyway, y'all, Drea, you know, she did apologize, and I feel like she didn't mean it like that. Like, I feel like she wasn't, like, trying to make Megan Thee Stallion feel bad, and also, I don't think that she was condoning, or I don't know, I don't know, because what she said really did sound like she was condoning and justifying domestic violence. I don't know. I think she need help, for real. I think... That's probably is how she feel. Like, if she wants somebody to love her so much, she shoot her. Maybe she do feel that way. She need help. You know, I don't think any woman should want that for themselves. So, the fact that she want that for herself, she's crazy. You know, she needs help. But anyway, my thing is, like I said, maybe she didn't mean it. I don't know. She apologized. But I heard that she was a model or something for Rihanna. She was a uh, um, ambassador, I think, whatever you say, brand ambassador for Savage X Fenty or what, Fenty or whatever. Rihanna let her go or whatever from that, and um, it's understandable why Rihanna did that. You know, Rihanna was abused by Chris Brown, 
So I can see why and how she did that. So, I mean, I'm not mad at it. You know, I guess she, you know, she felt that before. You know, she's been abused. She's been in a domestic violence situation. So she, you know, if she see that Drea, Drea is making fun of that or whatever, excusing that, I guess she she got a right to let Drea go. God damn it. You know, she has a right to do that, to let her go. But anyway, y'all, let's talk about just hilarious. Anyway, y'all, so if y'all don't know Jess Hilarious, she is a comedian. Um, she's from Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore as well. Um, I, I've been following her for years because I knew she's from Baltimore. Like, I knew she was a comedian. Um, I think she was on Wild and Out, Wild and Out, whatever you, how you say that show. Um, I never really watched her on that. I don't really, I was never, I never really watched Wild and Out like that. <coughs> but anyway, I knew she was on there. I knew she was a comedian. I always followed her on Instagram. I thought she was funny, but I'm not going to lie. When I seen this video that she made today or tomorrow, I mean, oh, shit, damn, yesterday or whatever, I'm not going to lie, that was not funny at all. Like, that really kind of made me look at her really weird. Like, she, that was very weird. Like, that video, she, that video was weird. Like, to me, it didn't even really, I guess it kind of made me mad, but it didn't really make me, it just made me look at her like she is weird, like something wrong with her. Why the hell would she make that weird video? I'm going to just show y'all. This is what she did, y'all. To further our investigation, we're going to do a reenactment of the incident. Given all the details that we were given for this investigation, our social media sources put story about here. And that puts the gun here. So that's gonna put Megan about here and her foot about there. Now, even if there were some type of argument or quarrel between the two. Given Tori's past with AIM, we know he doesn't have any. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand if you are an angered man and a woman that you want is getting out of the car, you're not gonna shoot the bitch in the toe. That's what I want you to know if you're trying to stop a bitch from leaving. You actually would shoot a bitch in the toe if. Okay, we're gonna edit this. Never mind, never mind. Now, when the bullet first struck Megan, I can only imagine how she felt. Now, if you've never been shot before, you don't know her pain, okay? And I imagined that the sound that was produced when she felt the hot metal was of this. Ah, hey, ah, ooh. Tori, if he did this on purpose, which we are justifying that he did not. So, at this point, our investigation is still open. Until then, Keep scrolling. Y'all need to just say in the comments how y'all feel about what she said. Because I just don't understand what was her point of doing that. She clearly made fun of that. She seen what happened to Drea. She saw the consequences. She seen how people was ready to can cancel her. So why the hell would she do that? You know, why the hell... Why the hell would she do a whole video of, like, pretending she was Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez? I don't know why the hell. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was weird. Um, I, I feel like when I seen that, I just paused like this. Like, what the hell was that? Like, honestly, y'all... That was so weird. Like, I was just like, did she really do this? Like, what's up with Just Hilarious? I mean, I'm not going to lie. She always do stupid stuff. Like, she always do stupid I'm from Baltimore, y'all. And I feel like, I mean, I know people do stupid stuff everywhere. But, y'all, in Baltimore, people really don't have no chill. Like, niggas and girls, like, they don't give a F. And I think that's Just Hilarious. And so, I I mean, I feel like she, by, she shouldn't have put that video out there because she tried to be funny. You know, she's a comedian. So, I feel like I don't really think that she thinks sometimes. I think she's just trying to do stuff to be funny. But she didn't think about the fact that 
people would not be okay with that. Like, what the hell? Because my thing is, I don't think she really is condoning or, like, happy that Megan got shot. I just feel like she just tried so hard. She was just trying so hard to be funny. And I feel like she should have thought about how that was going to affect her fans and everybody. Like, you know, this is a serious situation that people was taking. You know, everybody's taking it serious about what happened to Megan Thee Stallion. So, she should have thought about that and before she made this whole video. I really can't believe she did that, y'all. And, um... Yeah, so I, that's all I got to say. I really just wanted to talk about this. Um, it was just crazy. Um, I hope we find out more about what happened to Megan Thee Stallion, honestly. Like, I really hope Megan really open up one day and really tell us what happened. I feel like she, I heard she might not want to be, like, labeled as a snitch or whatever. But, I mean... She's a woman, and she was shot. Like, I feel like she needed to just tell it all. Like, just say what happened. Um. Anyway, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Okay, bye. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.